The Speaker of Parliament and his representation, even though I know um, it's unlawful. And of course, it is not, you see, the point was made, it is not an attempt to uh, prevent the Speaker from having representation. If the Speaker wants to have a lawyer, the Speaker must procure the lawyer lawfully. And then, as I said, the Attorney General, even when he's seeking the service of a lawyer to represent the government in cases outside the country, in foreign courts, goes to people approval all the time. Even the two justices, the former two justices, Eddie and who was with all respect using the services of Tadjo so had to go to PP approval. Mm. And I know for a fact that he has not received any PP approval. And so he's in flagrant violation of the of, of the provincial law and, and that is what we saw. So it is again, not, the team classes so it is not mentioned well that's after the court. You know I do not parallel the court at all mm. when the court decides to either defer ruling or maybe decides mm. not to rule on it. Mm. And of course all rights are also reserved in that to take it up further. Mm. And breach of the PP Act constitutes a crime. Mm. And my contention is that you cannot use a crime to defend a clear unconstitutional action by us. So indeed, you are engaging in an unconstitutional action and you are using, with all respect, the commission of a crime to further that unconstitutionality. That is wrong. The court, the court largely agreed with you today, but it said that it was going to give a ruling on the objections you raised in its ruling. It did not again raise those issues in this ruling. Yes, yes. I mean, that, that was the material commission of the but of course, as I said, I do not usually quarrel with the courts, and I do not have any complaints at all. Substantially, as you said, my objections, I mean, the point where I felt, in the sense, is that the objections of the um, first defendant, the Speaker of Parliament, were without any basis whatsoever. And I think it's very important to indicate that this country sometimes is a lot of ignorance parading as reason. The situation where you have ignorance parading as reason must stop. It's a lot of deceit and, and misrepresentation of reality to, to the public. You find all the points that have been made. All the time I listen to me, me, the radio quietly when this matter came. I've never spoken at all. And I see a lot of ignorance and, and mischief being perpetrated and, and being thrown in the eyes of the public. Mm -hmm. And you've seen it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm sure that is why the court took its time to deliver such a comprehensive ruling to educate the public properly mm -hmm. and to prevent ignorance mm -hmm. from being further paraded as a result in this country. Mm -hmm.